and who likes food? Because I do, and I'm always on there, and I'm looking at food. I'm always looking on there, and I always see really awesome like recipes that I wanna try, and Pinterest is like one of those things where it's like hit or miss, and you really don't know if it's gonna turn out or if it's not gonna turn out, so like you just like never try, but there's so many good looking things on there. So, in today's video, I'm just gonna be trying a bunch of different Pinterest style recipes that I found. So, let's just go ahead and get right on in to tasting some awesome recipes. Hopefully they're awesome. So for this one, all we need is a kiwi, some popsicle sticks, and some dark chocolate chips. Actually, the recipe, the recipe said you needed coconut oil as well. Unfortunately, I don't have coconut oil, so I'm hoping it's still gonna work out. The chocolate might be a little bit thicker, but I think we'll be okay. I almost called this a cucumber. I'm gonna slice this into like inch sections, and I'm gonna cut the fuzzy part off the end, and then I'm gonna put the popsicle sticks on the bottom, and then we have to put these in the freezer. I think this one's gonna be pretty easy. I think it's gonna taste good, and I think it's gonna be a healthier alternative to like a regular popsicle, so I'm really excited for this one. So uh, let's do it. All the kiwis are on sticks. They're freaking cute. It's just said, it says to put it in the freezer before you put the chocolate on, and then put it in the freezer again after you put the chocolate on. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer and I will be back when they're cold. Okay, so these are frozen now and you can definitely tell. However, they are melting fairly quick. Whoa, but they actually already look like little ice cream popsicles, which is really, really cool. I'll show you guys like a close up of what they look like. Now, basically what I have to do is quickly go melt these and then we're gonna dip these bad boys in the chocolate and put them back in the freezer. finally frozen. I mean, it didn't really take that long. Since the kiwi was already frozen, the chocolate started hardening pretty much right away. My kiwis started thawing because I didn't heat up the chocolate first. So if you try it, I recommend doing the chocolate first. I'm so excited because it looks delicious. Okay, ready? Here we go. Ow! <laughs> Ow, I just bit my lip. Mmm! Oh my god. This is actually so good. What the heck? The chocolate's kind of like sweet. It's dark chocolate, so it's not super, super sweet, but then you get like the sourness of the kiwi. Okay, I never thought frozen kiwi would taste this delicious. Like it didn't even cross my mind that that was a thing, but it's a thing. Double thumbs up for this. It's super easy to do. It tastes freaking amazing, and it's like 90% healthier than like regular ice cream bars. Yum! 10 out of 10. Pinterest, you win, okay? You win for this one. So for this next DIY, it's super easy. You know I love easy because I can't cook anything for my life. We're just making sour worm like popsicles and somehow this Pinterest video has turned into a DIY popsicles video, but I'm okay with it. So first things first, you need some sour gummy worms and then juice. And that's literally all you need. And of course a popsicle mold to put everything inside. So basically what we're gonna do is take a couple of gummy worms, put them in the bottom of the thing, and then pour the juice in and put them in the freezer. And then once they're frozen, we're gonna see how they taste. So let's just get started. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. So now that these are all done, you guys are probably wondering why I only did three. Well, I did that for a couple of reasons. A, because I wanted to eat some leftover gummy worms. And B, my next DIY requires 
the other half of this mold. Yeah, now I'm just gonna put these in the freezer. My only worry is that these ones, I feel like the gummy worms are gonna get really, really hard and they're gonna be hard to like bite once they're like frozen. So hopefully, it still tastes good and hopefully, I've also never tried this juice before, so hopefully that's good too. I'm gonna go check them in the freezer now and we'll be back with the magic of editing in two seconds when they're done. So it is the next day and it is time to try the sour worm popsicles. I thought it was gonna look a lot cuter and I thought you were gonna be able to see like the worms a little bit better. But anyway, I'm gonna trust it and see if it tastes any good. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. The popsicle itself is way softer than I expected it to be. The flavor from like the worms like went into the popsicle. It actually tastes so good though because like you get like the little sour like sugary bits from the worms because it's like you're eating a popsicle but then there's like these weird like rubbery like chunky bits. <laughs> as weird as that sounds to say but I'd definitely make these again. I think like little kids would really really like this too. I think they'd think this was like super super cool. I'll give it like a 4.5 out of 5. Nah, maybe I'll give it a 5. It tastes really good. Two thumbs up. I don't know if you guys noticed in my kiwi testing one, I had like chocolate on my lips so thank god there's no chocolate on this because that was not cute. So for these Nutella popsicles, I'm gonna half the recipe because I used half my mold for the last recipe, so I don't have enough molds to make the full one, I don't think so. I'm just gonna do everything by half. I take half a cup of milk, half a cup of cool, I think half a cup. I'm gonna check the recipe as I'm doing this. I'll link it down below so you guys get it right. Yeah, I just took this out of the freezer and I have this big thing of Nutella because I didn't read the amount of the recipe before I bought this and I totally could have bought the small one, but for some reason I was thinking the small one wasn't gonna be enough, but I guess I only need an eighth of a cup if I'm halving the recipe, which is only a tiny portion of this. I feel like what I'm gonna do is mix all this stuff together and then we're gonna put it into the mold with the last one. And I'm probably gonna have to freeze it overnight because it says to freeze for six to 10 hours. Let's go ahead and get her started. what these look like and yeah I know you should never judge a book by its cover but judging by what they look like I really don't have very high hopes for these like like at the start I was kind of hoping it was kind of gonna taste like a fudge sickle type situation but like the Nutella really didn't mix in very well with the milk and the Cool Whip it could be weird but it also could be good I mean the person that like made the post on Pinterest said it was really good but it could really go either way. Yeah, I'm gonna go pop these in the freezer and by the time you guys see me again, it will probably be the next day because these are gonna take a while to freeze. So let's just hop right on into the testing portion. So it is now time to try the Nutella Kua Popsicle. You do have to like run hot water over your mold or your stick will come sliding right out and you will not have a popsicle. It looked kind of funny. It looks kind of like it's dirty. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bite. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Wow, wow. These actually taste very similar to fudgesicles, but like lighter, if that makes sense. I really thought these weren't gonna taste very good, but it does. It tastes really good. Wow, okay. It may look kind of weird before you freeze it. It may look kind of weird even after you freeze it, but it's so good. Two thumbs up for all of these recipes. Pinterest like totally just like proved me completely wrong. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these or if you think you will. And also let me know if you guys want me to do any more Pinterest recipe tasting videos, and if you do, link the ones that you want me to try down below with thumbs up for all the recipes in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what other videos you'd like to see for summer this year because I'm gonna pump out all kinds of awesome ones. And if you guys wanna try any of these recipes that I tried, I'm gonna link them down below for you guys so you can try them out for yourselves. If you wanna give them a go, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. What else is there? I don't know. Just look up at Fallon Fraser and I'll be there. Just look me up. I got the purple hair. That's how you know it's me. With all that being said, I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye! Dream up a world of pirates Climb the highest tree 
Say hey.